in the depths of my mind, I remember this little boy. He went to visit his great grandmother in India. When he saw her, for the, when he saw her, he instantly recognized who she was. But the great grandmother still remained wary of who the little boy was. The boy was heartbroken that not even his own family member could recognize him. His parents told him that she had dementia. And what was worse was that a few years later, his great grandmother died. But that did not stop the little boy from reflecting on what happened. Why did she get dementia? How did she get dementia? Was there a way she could have lived longer? That little boy turned out to be me. I did some research on my own, and it turned out that dementia was a cognitive disorder that affected communication, behavior, and memory. And one of the best treatment options for dementia was early diagnosis. However, according to 2017 estimates, it's predicted that 93% of people who have dementia globally are predicted to be undiagnosed. So how can we increase diagnosis rates? Well, I shifted my focus towards diagnosis tests. One of the most popular tests of these was the clock drawing test. In the test, you're simply asked to draw an analog clock, and then the clinician grades that clock from a magnitude or score of zero, not recognizable as a clock, to five, which is an accurate depiction of a clock. You can note on my left, the bottom image shows the dementia score zero. And you can see the patient drew an extremely distorted clock. But at the top image, you can see a healthy patient with a score of five who drew a relatively accurate clock. So how could I, a team, automate the clock drawing test to improve and promote diagnosis rates. My solution was a product or app called Dementia AI. All you have to do is simply follow on the screen instructions to draw a clock, take a picture of it, and receive your score in the snap of a second. But I didn't just know how to make the app. I had to have the necessary skills to build it. It all started one day in my local robotics club. I was generally fascinated by robotics, and I enjoyed block coding. But then I wanted to do that cool text programming like those hackers do in movies. So I switched to Python and learned it through a school course. After learning about how Python worked, I wanted to expand more of what you could do with it. So I started learning more about artificial intelligence through self-learning and through summer camps. And then I started learning about mobile app development on my own to start developing the app. Now, even after developing the skills and trying to apply them to build the app, I still face problems. My first problem was my lack of technical expertise. Even though I had learned so much and self-learned, even when I had uh, errors that popped up on the screen of my app, or popped up on the screen and I tried to debug. I just got so many errors um, just because I couldn't solve them because I self-learned way too much. Second of all was my testing and validation. Even after building a machine learning model that could detect dementia, it still was not accurate enough. There are millions of things you can change in a machine learning model. And I had to figure out, and I am still figuring out, the best way to optimize it. Third of all was the App Store review process. I'm still trying to figure out how I can upload it to the App Store while maintaining private data. And lastly is monetization. How can I fulfill my goal of improving diagnosis rates, but make money at the same time in order to further the project? Now, these ideas, the idea I had of this app as a team, 
actually reflects on the qualities we have. First of all, we're created. We're not limited by the thoughts of traditional thinking. We're good at coming up with ideas. We're good at coming up with ways to apply those ideas. Second of all, we're risk takers. We don't have to pay taxes or mortgages like adults do. We are not bound by the limits of opportunity. We do what it takes to go to a venture, go through a venture, take that opportunity, seize that day. We're tech savvy. We know from fixing the volume on grandma's phone to making whole computer, fun whole functional computer programs. We're adaptable. When the world tries to take us off course, we deal with it and we move on. And finally, we have a passion. We have that inner motivation that keeps us driving us forward. So the impacts of teen entrepreneurship are also limitless in the real world. It motivates other teens to become entrepreneurs, like I did myself. It promotes innovation that fills in the gaps of our world. It creates jobs that can help move society forward and it can help the general public. And fourth of all, it creates diversity. It allows all walks of life to do the things they want to do. And so I want you to leave here thinking today about your next goal, your next motivation, your next idea to make your next dream the next reality. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions or would like to collab with me, please contact me.